Hi everybody, it's Wayne Wilson here, coming to you from, uh, well, what was this morning very sunny Okanagan, but it's gotten a bit overcast, so uh, a great day to, uh, to sit around, uh, in my case, at the, uh, the dining room table, um, where lots of good art gets done. So uh, we're going to do a couple of pieces today. In behind me here is, uh, is a piece that I did a few years ago. This is Dilworth Mountain which is, uh, when I was a kid growing up here, we looked out my, our, our family living room window and that was the scene of Dilworth Mountain. So I took this out and did a, quite a large pencil sketch of, of Dilworth Mountain. So lots there, to, uh, lots there to see in this landscape, in all the landscapes. I'm not sure where you're tuning in from, but think about going outside and just uh, sketching just the profile of the hills that, um, that run across your uh, your landscape north, south, east, or west. I'm just going to take this camera now and move it over to the table where we'll, I'll be working. <clears throat> Get things set up. Make sure we've got. Let's see here. Get things the right way around. I think we need to switch this around again. I know that's got it. There we are. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, this is a little bit of the other work that I've been doing lately. Um, I thought I'd just throw this in. These are fly patterns. Um, some of them that I remember as a kid growing up, and others that I've just found. Uh, beautiful fly patterns on the internet. So I'm doing some little sketches and then painting them in. For growing up here as a, as a kid going into the hills, uh, Pasta Lake and, and Beaver Lake, learning how to fly fish up there. So great fun doing all of those sorts of things. So lots of, lots of uh, opportunity out there. So we're gonna do a couple of pieces today. Um, we're going to do uh, one, that, uh, you know, you can use it as a card. And we're, we're actually going to be using it vertically like this. Um, it's about three inches by nine inches. I'm not sure what the metric is on that. <clears throat> and that, that will fit into an, what's called a number 10 business envelope. So it gives you a little bit of extra room as well. But So we'll do the painting on this side. But you can write on the other side and... and card doesn't have to fold it could just be a two-sided piece like that so why not eh so we're gonna do um, we're going to do a, uh, a jellyfish remember I said last week that we're gonna do a little uh, bit of sea life so if you think about jellyfish they're a pretty straightforward kind of beast in the ocean um, they can be just they can be microscopic and they can be up to feet long including all of the um, including all of their tentacles and everything. So really straightforward. We, you know, a jellyfish has got a, it's got a top and it's got a round top and we're not gonna do it straight across. We're gonna give it a little bit of motion. So we'll do a, a jellyfish kind of like this. And the, the bottom of the jellyfish is, you know, it's not a straight line, right? And then if you think about times that you've seen jellyfish or you've gone on the internet and looked at them, they, 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 they've got clusters of nerve endings and all of those sorts of things, but they don't have brains. So inside, they're just kind of this mush of stuff. So just draw some sketchy little lines in like that. There's the inside of your, your, uh, your jellyfish. Don't worry about it being all pristine. Now, jellyfish have always got, um, or, well, not always, but they've generally got tentacles. So we've got the jellyfish kind of moving off to this side, but gravity is going to pull, probably pull their tentacles down. So just, and the tentacles are somewhere longer and shorter than others. Some of them have little marks in them, or little expanded spots in them. They cross one another. So just draw a whole raft of tentacles streaming down, some longer than others. 
because we're going to be doing something with these in just a moment here too. So you can see the jellyfish starting to take place here, take shape I should say. And you know the tentacles, not always, but often they've got these funny kinds of, of additions to them, little little suckers or stingers attached to them. So maybe here and there, do a few of those just to add some variety to it. And there's your there's your basic jellyfish, you know. There's really not a lot to it. Um, and we want to paint it up. Um, and what we're going to do with this is uh, we're going to a couple of things. We want to give the the jellyfish itself some color, but we don't want to we don't want to block it in completely and um, just fill it full of of color. So this is my palette here. It's a really messy palette that you can see, and I'm going to just use this kind of light blue paint up here. And all I want is just the, just the little, this tiny faded little bit of blue in there. So we've got that blue now, and we're just going to kind of fill it in. And don't worry, it doesn't have to be all filled in. This jellyfish, they're, they're kind of a opaque, very strange creature, I think. And maybe I want to take a little bit and just add some additional color to that here and there to give it some dimension. So there's there's the kind of the body of the jellyfish, kind of an umbrella shape on the top. And I want to take a little bit of a, a smaller brush. And you see we've, we've left some little spots in here, little, little open spaces. So let's just take and add, again, a little bit of color to those. And it's just gonna add, a, I think, a little bit of character to the, uh, to the jellyfish. Lord knows a jellyfish needs character, doesn't it, eh? We all need character and the jellyfish more than others. So. So there's, there's the basics of a, of a jellyfish. So we've got Geneva joining in and Carol and Paul, lots of folks. Um, so now I want to, I want to add, uh, Instead of just having this jellyfish kind of sit on the page like this, um, this is a, a piece of uh, equipment that I, I, okay, I'll admit it, I forgot to mention um, at my last time. So what I've got here is I've, I've got a um, just a flower pot. So if you get a small bowl, um, maybe four inches, three or four inches across, four inches maybe across, what we're going to do is we're going to take and put it over that jellyfish. And you see it comes out on both sides. Don't worry about it. I'm not building a piano here. And then take your pencil and just draw a line across top and bottom. There you go. So that jellyfish is now kind of sitting in a bit of a halo there. Now we want to, to give it some background to that. So I'm going to take a little bit bigger brush here. And this is just clear water. Okay. So we fill all of this in here with clear water. Just follow that line. And leave it wet. I want to be able to see a little bit of a glisten on it. Okay. All the way around. I would, I'm not going to grow over the tentacles, I don't think, here. Let me just add this, and I'll show you what we're going to do to give it some... Uh, maybe a bit like a like it's in an aquarium or something like that, or actually still out in the ocean. That's where they should be, isn't it? Okay. So there we've got our water on there. I'm going to take I'm going to take that same brush, and we're going to get some really this forest green that I've been using in other uh, sessions. The, now there's lots of paint on this brush, lots of paint because I want it dark, and you see that it just kind of blooms out. 
This, it gets this kind of halo. And just be real random about that. You can draw a line. Maybe you want to take this one right up to the edge a little bit over here. There we go. And then you also might want to, now that it's beginning to get this little, as I say, this halo on it, you might want to take it and add even something a little bit darker, just more green, but just and just touch it right in the center of those spaces. Now remember, watercolor will generally dry lighter. So it may look really kind of black green here, but it'll lighten up quite a bit when it dries. There you go. So we'll look at that and leave that here in a few minutes and, and come back and look at it. And it, it kind of puts the, the jellyfish, I think, into some kind of dimension um, under the water there in your aquarium. So there we go. There's a, a pretty straightforward piece of, of sea life. Um, I like doing the, the jellyfish are, are great that way because they're, uh, there's not much to them. You know, see right through them, just like a personality, eh? There we go. Um, so we're going to set this aside and come back to it in a few minutes. Um, show you what else we can do to that. See, so the other thing, you can see that I've taken my watercolor paper here out of a water, a pad of watercolor paper. Um, and this is just the leftovers that I've got. And it's, I don't know, uh, again, about three inches by four or five inches, something like that. And what I want to do here is I want to do a, a horizon of conifer trees. Um, several years ago, I was part of an expedition that we, we paddled from Great Slave Lake in the Arctic all the way down to Inuvik in the Mackenzie River Delta. It took us a month to do that. And as we paddled down the Mackenzie River, the banks of the river had just these deep, deep, I guess it was Engelman spruce or something along the banks that just lined it, and it was absolutely stunning. So what we're going to do is, um, this is this is the kind of look we're going for, okay? And again, like that blooming in the uh, in the jellyfish, we're going to do a little what's called wet in wet here. So we'll take this clear water, and we'll just draw a straight line across the page, across the piece of paper here. Make sure you've got lots of water on it. It doesn't have to be running off, but you want lots of water because it's going to take us a moment here to, to do this. Now you want to take a, a, a finer brush, and we're going to go to that deep forest green again. Is, uh, can you tell it's one of my favorites? What was your first clue, eh? And we're going to just do a, a line. with Now, trees, remember, they're, they're narrow at the top, and as they go down, they get wider. So we're going to take just the tiniest little line. Don't worry about trunks and anything. Once you get into that, look how it blooms out. Maybe the uh, next tree is a little taller. A little short one on the end here. A little more paint. We're going to do a whole line of these trees all the way along. And as long as this this wet on wet is still there, it'll bloom down into that into that wet paper that you've got there. So there's really, this isn't a complex piece of artwork. This is uh, you know, something that I, I'm hoping everybody can do. Um, I'll show you, we'll add a little bit of something here in just a moment. There's your kind of horizon of trees, and you can leave it sparse or you can fill it in. So you could you could actually do treetops all the way along here. Little short ones, tall trees, what have you, all the way across. And I think you can use this as a card as well. You know, why not, why not write on the other side of it and send it off? So we've got green trees, but you know, larch in the fall are, uh, are kind of yellowy. 
when they turn color. Those larger are the uh, are the deciduous tree with needles. So maybe take a little bit of yellow and just come into this as well, and it'll bleed into here as, just as nicely. So I see Lorraine says she loves trees. I hope this gives you an idea of just ways that you can play with some of this here. I'm not sure I want to take the yellow all the way to the other end. Maybe another one here. So there's there's a, a kind of horizon line of trees that um, I know this was the scene that I faced for a month paddling down the Mackenzie River and it was uh, it was really a, a reassuring kind of look and feel. So um, on the Mackenzie, you've got these this row of trees, um, perhaps some mountains in the background, and the river line was just down here. A really uh, pretty uh, pretty wonderful bit of paddling we had there. Now there's your there's our. Um, I'm going to come back to the uh, the jellyfish here for a moment, um, and I I want to give it a bit more weight. To the line that's in here. So I'm going to do that, but I'm not, I'm going to use my micron pen here. This is a zero one, so not real fine, but, um, and I'm just going to add some weight to this, the interior of it a little bit. And when we get to the side, I'm not going to go all the way around, just little marks here and there. And a couple of these, you might just want to pull down And it just, it gives it an, an additional bit of, of weight to the drawing, I think. There we go. So there's your jellyfish. Pretty, uh, pretty simple, I think, a uh, piece of our sea life. Remember the last time when I was at the coast last summer when we were all allowed to travel? Um, being at the, a ferry dock and there was a, a jellyfish bloom and they were absolutely everywhere, these jellyfish, white transparent jellyfish. So um, you want to sign your work as well. So there you go. So there we go, sign one. Let's do this one as well. There we go. So a couple of, of pieces for you today um, that you can uh, practice on them. You know, get, get yourself a, uh, some even newsprint paper. It doesn't really matter what you do. But the, the key is to just practice, uh, doodle around. And I guarantee you, the more you do of this, uh, the better you will get at it. Um, so if you draw one jellyfish here today. By the time you draw your fifth or sixth jellyfish, if you're not happy with that first one, I, I guarantee you that the the sixth or tenth one will be way way better. So uh, give it a try, and that's that's what art is about. is It's about uh, kind of expanding your horizons and and the way you see things in the world. What did Emily Carr called it? Fresh seeing, I think, something like that. So um, get those fresh eyes for yourself and see the landscapes that are around you and and. Uh, I'll be back next week, uh, next Sunday at 1 o'clock. Um, please have a look at my website, Wayne Wilson, uh, Art, uh, waynewilsonart.com. Um, follow me on Facebook, and away we go, and we'll be back. You know, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do next week, but uh, I'll, 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 I'll be sure to have something fun. So uh, watch for an announcement of that coming up. Thanks very much, and, and uh, have a great Sunday afternoon. Thanks for joining in. I appreciate it.